This short film is all about the different trophic levels in the world. Trophic levels are a clear way to break down individuals in the biotic world and explain how they obtain and utilize energy. Producers, also no called autotrophs, synthesize their own complex nutrient molecules primarily through photosynthesis. An example is euglena, a photosynthetic protista that is also a primary producer. Primary producers are organisms that make their own food from sunlight and or chemical energy from deep sea vents. They are the base of the food chain and are called autotrophs. Examples are plants, vegetables, and flowers. Primary consumers are the organisms that feed exclusively on autotrophs. The primary consumers are heterotrophs, and are also known as herbivores. This level has a wide range of organisms such as worms, lobsters, bunnies, mice, and cows. An issue facing this large food chain is the 10% rule. Of the energy that is utilized by any given trophic level, about 10% of it reaches the next trophic level. Most of the rest of the energy escapes the system as heat. Primary producers are the most energy efficient trophic level. Secondary consumers are the least energy efficient. Once you get higher in the food chain, you create more waste. Secondary consumers are next up in the food web. They are also known as omnivores or carnivores. These consumers are organisms that eat and get energy from the primary consumers. Large fish and humans are an example of secondary consumers. Humans are considered omnivores because they eat both plants and animals. When humans eat large fish who are eating smaller fish, they become tertiary consumers. This is why it is considered a food web instead of a food chain. Many organisms have a diverse diet that causes them to be at various trophic levels at the same time.